Alright, Chris back again and continuing on with my Final Fantasy 7 New Threat 2.0 run, Type B. So, in the last video, I finished off Nibelheim, I cleared my way through the Nibel Mountains, saw quite a bit of material growth, Vincent went from having just one limit break up to three of his, and now we are on our way to Rocket Town. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, they're leveling up the materia really quickly at this point. So, let's just get through a couple fights and see what Rocket Town has to offer for us. Alright, so Quake should finish off these guys pretty easily. I'm gonna stick with just uh, having Cloud Defense. Oh, um, actually, uh, it's I'm gonna have to uh, restore some of his MP because he has like zero. Well, 17. Not really enough, not for the high level stuff. And restore, just expand it again. So let's quickly use a an ether on there. Or actually a tent. So tents. They're not that expensive. And let's get the restore done. So who is it that restore just leveled up for? I think it was Vincent, right? Nope. Maybe it was Cloud. Yep, there we go. The store just maxed out. So let's get the next one done. Arrange, and there we go. So, Rocket Town is off in the distance. Uh, it's gonna take ah, not too many battles. We'll see if we get there before another one procs. And we are lucky enough that we don't have another random encounter. Okay. What's that? It looks like some kind of a rocket. I don't know why it's called Rocket Town. A rusty old rocket. Wasn't that the last one they built? Shinra failed. Shinra's failed space program. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Captain? Who's that captain? The captain was the pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was a problem during the launch. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see him? Sephiroth. Sephiroth? I think he died years ago. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here that we can buy. A man's... A gun is a man's weapon. Nothing else will do. Let's see about selling some materia now that we have so much, so... The the gravity will sell for sixty thousand. Um, let's see what an all will sell for. Do we have a master doll? No, they're all equipped. Uh, the counterattack the cover is mastered. It's for eighty thousand. Uh, I'd put us up pretty high. Uh, some of the material we're definitely not selling. Um, I'm thinking if we sell the cover, that'll probably set us up for kill for quite a while. And we are leveling up pretty quickly, so if we sell that, the elemental material is not worth all that much. Um, so we have three fires already. Let's see. And... Time sells for a heck of a lot too, so 53,000 for time and 60,000 for gravity. So let's sell one of each of those and work on leveling up the others. Heal I need to get out. Restore. We have two in, in the progress of leveling up now. So let's sell the mastered retort. Let's sell one of the restores and sell the lightning and the ice. Yeah, so we're definitely going to get rid of some of the materia we have here. But we are leveling up materia really quickly now. I mean, I think some of the materia that we have mastered here was not too long ago at not brand new. So, whoa. Elemental sells for 200,000 gil. And the they all sells for one hundred thousand. So 
Yeah, I'm gonna sell the... Okay, so we have a lot of gil now. Alright, so money is no longer an issue. Let's get the shotgun. Um, power rest. Protects. I don't know what resist shoot means. And... Let's get a talisman since we do have the gill. We could probably go back and buy the coaster that sold one now. Um, anything in here? The shopkeeper seems fine with us just going through his house. Received Molotov. Alright, so nothing here we need to take. And I just don't know if there is a... There are tons of antique guns on display here. He must be a real gun fanatic. I wish I had that many guns. Or any guns. Uh, there's just such a stigma about guns in this culture today that uh, people should not be afraid of them so much. Is it real or fake? Alright, so what do you have to say to us? Welcome to the Shangra, Shanghai Inn. It's 100 nights. Uh, actually, I think I used to 10, but... Oh well. I don't think in this game there's any cutscenes or anything that happen when you take a nap anywhere. Nope. Alright, so we have a bar here. Would you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. I'll get there. A drink will ease your heart. He so it doesn't look like the... Um... I'm in here. Let's uh, see upstairs quickly. Yeah, we definitely want to get those. Uh, was it uh, 135th of a soldier? If there's any around, so we're at still five of twelve. But let's see, I don't see any in here. All right, so unless I'm missing anything, there's no soldiers in here. And downstairs we go. So that's. Both buildings gone. Uh, what else do we have here? This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. And this is another shop. Welcome to the item shop. So now that we have a lot more money, we can <laughs> get a lot more items. So let's get a couple tents. Let's, yeah, let's get a barrier materia. We already have an exit. We have time, so we don't need anything there, really. All Gramps does is gaze at that rocket all day long. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a lot to do so far in the houses, but it looks like they've... This is where they started putting a bit more effort into things. It's not just a basic bed. I mean, I've seen that these houses actually have bathrooms. So they're definitely a little bit more sensible. Alright, what is this guy freaking out about? Mm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can spice things up here? Oh, don't worry. We're going to bring the spice. Jeez, I'm bored. Isn't there anything exciting going to happen around here? That's why we're here. We're gonna make you regret those words. Alright, so nothing in that house. No 135th soldiers. Uh, the one at the very end, I think, is the, uh, the Sid's house. So, hmm, let's see. Do I know any good jokes? Well, do you? It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Well, then tell a joke. What is brown and sticky? A stick. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we have uh, Barrett's drill arm. I think that's one of the first kind of joke weapons that you get. So let's see. Barrett's drill arm. Or maybe it's not a joke weapon. Ignores defense. Well, that sounds pretty good, but it doesn't have any linked slots and the the enemy launcher is triple high risk scattergun. So it would be much less attack, but attack percent is up 
really, really high. Hmm. Okay, so that's it for that. Alright, now let's continue on with the story. So let's check out this area here. And this is where we're introduced to Sheila. Let's do a quick save. I know it hasn't been that long, but... Hey, with all the mods going, you never know if the game's gonna crash at any point. So... Okay, so it looks like there's nothing here. Uh, that looks like some kind of vehicle or something. A bunch of guns. And this thing looks familiar. I think I recognize this plane. Looks like a customized Shinra plane. The tiny Brocco, huh? Shinra always keeps the best things for themselves. Let's take it. Um, may I help you? No, we're just, uh, looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. He should be in the rocket. I'm Shira, and what are your names? I'm Cloud, former soldier. I'm Baron of Avalanche. Vincent, I was... No, never mind. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra. Well, two of us were. I thought you were maybe with Ruf... I thought you were maybe with Rufus's entourage. He's coming here to see the captain. The captain's been restless all morning. He's been dreaming of going into space ever since, well... Rufus! Okay, another Fort Condor battle. Uh, I don't see the guy anywhere around. Uh, do you see him? It's not in here. Is he maybe outside? This isn't the guy, right? Nope. Okay, this is the guy, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, where's the Fort Condor guy? Don't see him anywhere. Okay, well. I guess the Fort Condor battle's not all that important. I don't see the guy anywhere around. Alright, well, let's just continue on with the game then. <laughs> if I did find him, I would have done a quick pause and done the Fort Condor battle, but I don't see him anywhere. So, up to the rockets. And we're going to ask Sid if we can use his ship. And I'm sure that can go over well, because Sid is such a darn nice guy. All the way up to the top. What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. I'm the captain. Sid. Tough talking, cigarette smoking Sid. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain No. What do you want? Can we borrow the tiny Brocco? You out of your bleeping mind. That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. What do you want? Is Rufus coming? Yeah, must be the news about the starting the space. It must be news about restarting the space program. A young president. That's just what we needed. He still has dreams too. Tell me about this rock. Wow, not bad for a kid. All right then, I'll tell you the story. You know that Shinra developed a bunch of technological gadgets during the war with Utai, right? Today, it's an energy company peddling Maku. But in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, after the war ended, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and built prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose to let me fly it, the best pilot in Shinra. No, the entire world. I mean, come on. And finally, launch day arrived. Everything was going well. Right up till that dumbass Shira messed everything up. Because of her, we had to cancel the launch right before takeoff. Ended up damaging the rocket. After that, Shinra nixed their plans to explore outer space. After All after telling me that the future was in space exploration and getting my damn hopes up. It was all over when they realized how profitable Mako power was. Well, 
We all got left here to rot away. Money, moolah, dinero. They sold my dream up the river just to save a few bucks. Look at this rusted ass rocket. I was supposed to be in the I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will come first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the new president. So that's Sid's story. Ruined dreams, money, a broken chance to go to outer space. And it's all Shira's fault. It's funny how this game started off pretty goofy and now it's gotten fairly serious. It's all coming together. So. so, Sid clearly said that he was going to let us use the rock, the uh, ship, right? Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? Just about the failed launch. Oh. Expletive. Shira, what are you, blind? I, we got guests. Get some tea. I'm sorry. Uh, really, don't mind us. Shut the hell up. Sit your asses down in those chairs and drink your GD tea. Tea. Ah, damn, I'm pissed. Shira, I'll be in the, in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. You serve these clowns their tea and then kick their asses out. Got it? <laughs> now that's hospitality for you. Make them drink their tea and then get them out of here. Damn man, that ain't, that, that ain't no way to behave. Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Nowhere else to go, or does something else keep you here? It's because of what happened on the day of the launch. What happened? Uh, I hear the whole story. Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired of waiting around on your ass. I'm sorry. Just don't waste so much time checking that expletive oxygen tank. Being careful is good, but that thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is lift off. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? We have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little expletive? I don't know. Activating the intercom in this engine section. Hey, goddammit. Who the bleep is still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little expletive. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be expletive left there of you when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp, you know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Ah! You have to wait till now to do it. Almost done, you're gonna die. Sid, we have to start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. Shira's still in there. What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. 
damn it, Shira. You trying to make me a murderer? Captain, Shira. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira, hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Forget about her. We won't make it in time. What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon. Outer space. My dreams. Ignite engine. Expletive. Yep, it's all Shearer's fault. She had to go check the engines on launch day. Couldn't get it done before. Yep. <laughs> and that's where it sits. And time passes and it's just rusting away now. It's a sad story. He aborted the launch too late. The rocket was damaged when it fell back onto the platform. It was around then that Shinra began to focus more on macro production, and so the space program was shelled. If the rocket had launched, it would have been destroyed by a mechanical fault. But as far as he concerned, I'm the one that destroyed his dream. We need to leave the past behind, and when he's ready to do that, I'll be waiting for him. Shira, you still haven't served the tea. I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or is my hospitality not good enough for you? They're late. Where is Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see, Sid. How have you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program going to start up again? I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Expletive. Good for nothing, fat expletive. <laughs> don't say fat. But the rest is fine, right? Hey, are you making tea? Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and... Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Ugh. <laughs> that still kind of makes me gag. Who the heck would put lard in tea? I doubt Rufus is here for the space program, but there's no telling the captain that. Huh? Have we met before? Is the tea ready yet? So we have to go around Palmer because he's taking up so much space there. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? We're here to take your plane. It seems that the man we're after has decided to go south in search of a rune called the Temple of the Ancients. A fast seaplane like yours would be ideal for seeking it out, seeing as my airship is still out of commission. Expletive! First the rocket, then the airship, and now the tiny Brocco. Shinra pissed all over my dreams of going into outer space, and now you want to take the sky from me too? Oh my. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra that you were able to fly, fly in the first place. What? Excuse me. This way. You were here for the Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's about to steal it. Why don't you talk to him? Steal it? Does he know how to fly that thing? Well, we're gonna have to put a stop to him. Hmm. Why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. Presidential guard saying nothing. We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, I know. The Shinra building. When the president was killed. Security! <laughs> They're not going to stand a chance. Them. So 
I should actually try and mug them and just see what we get from it. So 2800, uh, Mickey gets poison, just like all the humanoids. Let's do bio level 3, and attack. Stole protect mass, so they have protect mass on them. and attack the whole party. But 500 not so far now. And level 3 bio does a lot of a lot of damage to his health. Let's finish him off with Jared's limit break. And boom. Boom goes the dynamite. So I guess his H counter there, the grenade, is basically his death spell. Every now and then we come across enemies that just before they die, they cast something and basically leave your party a little bit damaged. So Steel has doubled up to max, so we can get that changed out. Oh, and we went from one fight to the other, so now we got Palmer, so let's uh, send him to a quick mod, and what else can we do? Okay, so Palmer has nothing to steal. So level 35, 3700 health left, we can get some poison. So Bio should base... Oh! There it is. So since Cloud has the added effect and has mini, Palmer is really small. So I think that really damage or really uh, negates his physical attacks a lot. So <laughs> he's tiny. And you can see the plane is already going. Shoot, I can't remember what happens. Like Palmer gets hit by something here. So he's running away, and then, out of nowhere, a Shinra truck comes. <laughs> so I think that's the end of Palmer. Alright, so that's the end of the fight too. So we got quite a bit of experience from that. Time leveled up. And we got a smoke bomb, and we have 450,000 gil from just selling a couple of materia. I can't stop it! Forget it. Get in. Alright, so now we got our plane. Rocket Town is finished. And from Rocket Town, we have a few options. We can continue on the game and head to the Temple of Ancients. Uh, we can go to Wutai. I think there's a couple spots that you can take the plane up and hit areas that you couldn't get to with, the, with just the buggy. And... Yeah, so I think I'm going to head to Wutai next, because that seems to be a good area to go. There's a few good grinding spots there, uh, but when you get there and you start crossing the bridge, that's when, you know, your good friend Yuffie comes and takes all your material. Shit, expletive, the tail's been hit! Emergency landing. This is going to be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. It looks like the modders even improved the water a little bit. I don't think it looked this clean in the original game. But I'm not completely sure. She won't fly no more. Well, it's floating. Can't we use it as a boat? A boat? Do whatever you want. So, Sid, what do you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. Well, what about Shira? You're just abandoning her. Shira, don't make me laugh. Just thinking about that broad gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to stop Shinra and their Maka reactors someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. A pilot might come in handy. A pilot might come in handy later. How about it, everyone? Do as you like. 
When time has passed in battle, the mixed ability will become available and triggered by using the defend command. Several effects may happen. If HP is below 50, uses high potion on party. If MP is below 50, uses ether on party. High ether. If bar barrier and MP and barrier not active, uses cheat curtain. Else, we'll use H mine. So the default is H mine, but if HP is low, he'll use an H potion on the party. If MP is low, he'll restore that. Okay, so that's uh, pretty decent. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. <laughs> numbskulls. Anyone stupid enough to go against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufa was yammering something about the Temple of the Ages. That's where Sephiroth is headed. But, how did the Shinra find out? I don't know, but that numbskull kid said it was off to, off to the south somewhere. Maybe an island of some kind. Then it's settled, I guess. But first, let's head for land and gather some info. The Temple of Ancients. I've got a bad feeling about this. So, four Condor battles available again. So now there's quite a few things you can do. Like I said, Wutai, go back to Fort Condor. Um, yeah, control just the same way. Can only cross any area that the, the water is a light blue. And so this whole continent here, I think is, yeah, this is uh, the Wutai continent. So this is pretty much where I'm gonna stop this video. Uh, actually, let's let Yafi steal our materia first. So, in order to do that, we have to go up this little area here. And... Yeah, this is a good grinding point as well. You get a lot of experience. These birds cast a lot of lightning spells to build up your little breaks pretty quickly. So we can't use... <gasps> So, I have a couple pets, so it's more than enough to get me there. And I have plenty of high potions, and... Actually, those guys weren't as hard as I thought. I remember this area being a lot tougher the first time I was here. But yeah, you got a lot of uh, AP experience, and you start getting a lot of the bolt plumes. So those are really good items, especially if you don't have any materia. And here it is. Everybody's just walking. Wait, 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 wait! What? What you hit? What the hell are you hollering about? I know this area pretty well. It gets super tough past here. Better put your best materia on. Ha, I know what you're thinking. You think I'm falling for that? I don't trust you, fool. No, I mean, come on. It's really tough. There they are. Catch them. The Shinra. Hey, this isn't them. These guys are Avalanche. Yuffie, are you working for? They're not with me. I had nothing to do with this one. This one? What do you mean, this one? So you were planning something. No, it's not like that. Um, uh, <laughs> what should we do? Get him. Grab him and ask questions later. Well, don't worry. We have all the stuff we need. Oh, we still have our materia. Some materia. Okay, just one materia. And Cloud has none. Huh. That's kind of weird. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but we're down to like just a couple materia. Fire did level up, so we still have some materia on us. The hell's going on? I knew something was missing. All my materia's gone. Yuffie is no longer here. That expletive kid. Girl, arg, arg. She was after our materia from the start. 
She went north. When I get my hands on her, I'll get our materia back. Come on, move it. We're going after her. Okay, so... Is any materia left? Because it's weird that some of them still had materia. So, no. Okay, so Barrett still has fire. Vincent has ice. So there's still some fire left. Uh, let's see if cloud... Fire. Okay, so we still have, like, three material left. I'm not sure if that's, uh, some kind of a glitch. But... Yeah, this is a good grinding spot, and... I think I'm gonna call it for here. So, Rocket Town is done. Now we have the Tiny Bronco. Um, next up is gonna be Wutai, and just checking out that big area. And then... Probably the Temple of Ancients in another video, but... Yeah, I'm not going to make this one too long because I think the Wutai one is going to take a fair bit of time. But before then, I want to get a little bit of grinding done in, even though we don't really have a lot of materia. Uh, now, for this part, you could cheese it if you really wanted to go and buy, go back to like another shop and get some restore materia. But in the end, it's not really a long enough point that you have to do all that. So... Yeah, I'm just going to call it here, and I'll have more soon. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with the next one. Have a good night.